Nudie Mac, how fun. I love a play on words. Hello from East Hampton. I'm at a garden and I'm so busy today. I don't know how I'm gonna get everything done. I'm making Jeffrey's favorite, roast chicken, and I'm adding a little lemon to be naughty. How bad can that be? Jeffrey's gonna love that. He loves me. And since I am so busy, I invited over my dear friend J.R. Bruno to help me out. He's from Cooking with Comedians by Nudie Mag. Nudie Mag, how fun. I love a play on words. <laughs> Welcome, J.R. Hi, Ina. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I have so much to do. I don't know how I'm going to get it all done. Oh, I'm here to help. <laughs> oh, I'm so, so glad. You know, I haven't seen you since we went foraging for mushrooms in your orchard last spring in Nantucket. Oh, I don't think that was me. It I was you. It was you. Me and Jeffrey had a great time. Oh, you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. I actually brought you one and I thought maybe you could wear it. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, we can be twins. Yeah. Oh, today you'll be helping me make some roasted chicken. Oh, and you'll love this. I'm adding some lemon from my garden to spice things up a little bit. It's Jeffrey's favorite. Oh, is Jeffrey joining us? No, Jeffrey's at the steam room with all my middle-aged gay friends, so it's just us girls. How fun. Speaking of which, my Dear friend Mary Berry from England is coming to judge our roasted chicken later. Oh, I hope we do well. <laughs> Let's take a look at our ingredients. Looks good enough to eat. We have two tablespoons of butter, which I churned myself, by the way. One teaspoon of good garlic, two tablespoons of olive oil, or as my dear friend Rachel Ray says, E-V-O-O, -O. how fun. And of course, three teaspoons of good fresh oregano that I got from my garden. Now, if you don't care enough about your life to have your own garden, store-bought is fine. <laughs> and don't forget our juicy lemons that add a little kick to this classic recipe. <laughs> Jeffrey's gonna love that. <laughs> and don't forget half a cup of chicken stock. Now, I make my own chicken stock, but again, if you don't care enough, store-bought is fine. All these ingredients are reminding me how busy I am. How are we going to get everything done before Mary gets here? <laughs> Will you do me a favor and get me the chicken? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I could have raised the chickens myself on my own farm, but why bother when you can just go to the market? We have so many good markets here in East Hampton. All right, we have one and a half pounds of chicken. Oh, fabulous. Looks good enough to eat, but we have to cook it first. <laughs> Can you imagine chicken tartare? This isn't steak. <laughs> How fun. I'm going to put this by the apron you got me. I love it. <laughs> so, the next thing we have to do. Gosh, we are just so busy. Do you think we're going to get it all done? Yes. Oh, I hope so. I have to call Mary to make sure she's on her way. Will you do me a favor? Will you chop the lemons, mix the ingredients, and cook the chicken for me? Oh, thank you. You're fabulous. I'm just so busy. All right. Uh, I guess I'll cut the lemons first. All we need to do with the lemons is slice one and half for the juice. And we're going to make slices of this lemon. This is just for decoration. And then with the other lemon halves, we're going to take our bowl of broth and we're going to squeeze the lemons so we get all the juice out. And if you want, you can throw your thumbs in there and just get the rest of the juice. From there, I'm just going to reach my hand in get all of the seeds out and add our butter melted. And last you're just going to add your garlic, your oregano, a little salt, and a little pepper. And this is going to be 
our baking liquid for the chicken. So make sure your skillet's nice and hot. We're gonna add the oil, and then we're gonna add this chicken breast in, skin side down, for about three How's minutes. How's it going, JR? It's going good. Oh, it looks fabulous. I just spoke to Mary on the phone, and she's so excited to taste the roast chicken that I've been slaving away on. <laughs> I'll be right back. I have to go get some lavender from the garden for the table. <laughs> now we just flip the chicken and put it on the other side for about another three minutes. I decided against lavender. It's very Provençal, but maybe not right for this meal. Okay, great. Can you just stay here? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh my god, Jeffrey's calling. Jeffrey has the steam room. Now we transfer the chicken, add the broth mixture we made earlier. We're going to put this in the oven at 375, and in about a half an hour, Ina and I are... You know what? I'm going to come back here and take this out of the oven. Oh, fabulous. Looks good enough to eat. I can't believe I did this on such a busy day. Mary's gonna love this. So you and Ina are best friends? Well, truth be told, I've never met her before in my life. And how do you know Ina? Oh, we're just doing a joint episode. I work for Cooking with Comedians by Nudie Mag. Nudie Mag? Please, sir, you're in the presence of a lady. Oh no, it's, uh, it's, it's amateur cooks cooking for amateur cooks. Hmm. Well, you say you're an amateur, but just so you know, I am looking for sheer perfection. If you don't succeed, you will be a disgrace not only to your families, but to the entire country and the English monarchy. Where is Ina? I don't know. She seems to be very busy today. Poor woman. She has so much on her shoulders. Bon appetite. <laughs> Bon appetit. I just love sharing recipes with my best friends. Oh, I can't believe it, Mary. I forgot to make dessert. I'll be right back. I've just been so busy. I totally forgot. I'm making us a fun parfait. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry to say, JR, but it's not the biggest showstopper I've ever seen. But the lemons are quite a nice touch and... Very naughty. <laughs> oh, well, let's dig in, shall we? It's a good pig. The lows are quite nice, and there is no soggy bottom, so good for you. But I must say, those lemons are quite exquisite, extraordinary. I could tell that they were picked from Ina's garden. Storbot is never okay. Well done. So overall, I'd say the chicken is very good. It's pretty basic and might need like some like accompaniments, but very good and well done. Anything for you? Well, I must say I'm quite stuffed. So I think I'll go now. Thank you so much, dear. This was so lovely. I know wherever you may be. See you later, darling. I'm just going to take this for the road. You're not supposed to do that. Believe it or not, those weren't women. That was our very special guest today. This is the hilarious Remy Germanario. Hi. I gotta say, I'm very offended. I think I'm a very fishy woman. Uh, no, I'd be a terrible I drag queen. I didn't laugh. No, I, no I would be a terrible drag queen if that's what I did. No, it would be bad. Thank you for having me, though. This was so fun. Yeah, I had a great time. And if you loved watching Remy, please find him online. Where can they find you? Um, I, I do stand-up comedy and, and sketch comedy all around the city. I post all of my bookings and shows on my website, which is uh, www.remygermanario.com. Um, you can check me out on uh, Instagram uh, and Twitter, at Remy Germanario. And uh, I'm definitely going to be um, putting out new sketch comedy content uh, online again on my website. Maybe Ina Garten would make another appearance. You never know. You never know. I'm also... <laughs> She's very busy. I know. I don't know when this is airing, but my next sketch is about Cynthia Nixon running for governor of New York. Maybe by the time this airs, she'll be governor. 
I don't know. If not, this is just a useless thing that I'm saying. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> something cute. You can call me something cute. I get called Ram Jobs, so you can call me whatever you want. So not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, fellow nudies, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know what you want to see next in the comments below.